We can see storm clouds now rain over our next destination. Hello, Kokomi here, and welcome back. Oh, it's becoming clear now. Ah, you can still see the lighting. Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Last time we scoured the Great Sea for treasure, and today we are finally heading towards our destination. And I want to talk about a few changes to this series. This has actually been quite a while since I've recorded this, and I've decided to make some changes because some stuff has been going on in my personal life. I don't like to break the story here so much, but I'm going to say this, and I'm going to go slower so we don't arrive at our destination as fast so I can say what I can without being interrupted by a cutscene. Uh... Starting from this episode onward, I'm no longer going to show, like, treasure chart number this, or treasure chest number that, or heart piece of heart number that. I still will be covering all of them. I will be going to them, but I won't show, like, on-screen text for them. The reason I'm making this change is, one, I'm lazy and I didn't want to type it, but two, I didn't feel like it was really adding anything to the series. And we'll discuss the rest of it later, because we finally arrived at our destination. Look, Link. Do, do, do you see it? What has happened to this place? What's the meaning of this? The island, it's... We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here. But no sign of him remains. Oh, there, Link! So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not! Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is now in a safer abode. Or he is in a safer abode now. Well, what a great time to mess up reading. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born. On Outset. Yet, even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in? I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hope to get at... But they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not get, gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Falu must have been right when he asked me to bring a uh, word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. With that, we know where we need to go. So Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? Well, let's head out. There is some stuff we can do here. But it seems like we're being pressed for a time limit. So with that, let's set sail to Windfall. You 
just had to ruin the atmosphere. Yes, we, you notice that the day-night thing has come up, but it's not changing. We are now stuck in an endless night. This is part of the curse that Valu spoke of, and it's not going to be set free for quite a bit. So, with that, I just have to say, I love the atmosphere so much of this place. It really just makes everything seem so dire, and really, it, it pushes you to go forward. And I love that. And that's also why I'm choosing to not go get the extra stuff we can get at Great Fish Isle at the moment. But rather, let's just focus on the story. There is no actual time limit, but for the sake of pacing, we're going to act like there is and not waste our time doing a bunch of random little things. And of course, the shark has to come and ruin the good atmosphere. With that, Windfall Island is right there. And there's something there that wasn't there last time. It is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. How you expect to not draw the attention with a giant ship is beyond me. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to, without them finding about you. Well, let's head to the pirate ship and see what we can accomplish. It's been a while since we've last been here. Still, the same old pirate ship seems a lot smaller now. No one seems to be here. Let's see if we can enter. Woo, Clane's pirate's ears! Uh, wait, why can't I? Oh, I have to... I have to use a D-pad? Uh... Yar... Do... Yar do clean pirate's ears. Because it's supposed to be like you do. Get it? Now scram, non-pirate! <laughs> okay, I love that. I haven't actually seen the text with getting the password wrong in a long time. And the password is different per save file, but there's a list that they will cycle through. Uh, so you could just theoretically guess your way in, but let's go ahead and figure out what else. Ooh, we can first see a dancing mailbox. Let's see what you have to do. I just noticed the rain actually stopped while we were under something. That's neat, I never noticed this game had that before. Yeah, you can see like the rain effects sort of stop when you're under something. That's so neat. Wow. And you can also see Link is dripping water. Dripping water, that's a very weird play. Putting it, good evening. Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here's our letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some Nightcrest and return to me, Orca. And now we have something to do with our Knight's Crest. Try as we like, or try as you might, I, I'm just getting all the sayings wrong. Go around Windfall, and there's no sign of the pirates anywhere, aside from that giant ship that is so well hidden, it's not going to draw any attention. But granted, no one's out right now since it's storming. So, good for them, I guess. Well, what would pirates be in town for? I don't remember exactly how you're supposed to know this, but yeah. Let's try going in here. We're closed today, so scram now! Oh, screw you too, buddy. Well, we can get around back. We di actually had to do this for the hide and seek mini game. Oh, Link. Sidle. There we go. We get to do the sidling again. Can even get to see Link's interesting faces. You could also just, if the wind's going in the right direction, you could just use the DQ link to get across. Uh, I think the wind's about perpendicular to where we are, which means I could probably make it. We can see the lights on, so let's head in and see what's going on.
look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you think of it as payback for the little nasty monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet your thingy was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talk you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I asked... Oh, wrong voice. So when I asked that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about that, the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top notch. It's funny though, I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit. Such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra Smart, if the two of you got married and had a kid... That kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yup, the greatest. You idiot! Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were, we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you saying is fine, miss. It is what I mean to say. It's just, the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave without so soon without a proper layover. So, what say we set it sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry to outset or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. All right, fine, have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at the first light, at first light. So no sleeping in, understood? Aye, aye. He looks so dead on the inside. Say there, brother, what was today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You already forgot? You're so useless. Today's password is Swabies, yeah? Remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's really picky about it. So I'll say it once more. Today's password is Swabbies, yeah? Had to include the yeah part as well. Swabbies, eh? Swabbies, eh? And honestly, if you don't memorize that password now, or somehow don't remember it, I don't think there is a way to, uh, see the password again. But rather, uh, when you go to the door, you'll be given a specific question to ask, and that password is the answer to the question. In the case of this one, it's what you clean a pirate's ear with. You know, you could use a cotton swab or swabbies. They're very pun questions. Uh, so I like how we're just plundering this guy's goods. We're more pirates than he are, than they are, than he are. Wow, I cannot speak, but then again, what else is new? Uh, hello, random person. Can we not talk to you? We can't even pull out our sword. Oh well, see ya. I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll find a way out of that on your own. We're totally just not gonna set him free or anything. 
I don't think you could go around town anywhere and find the pirates. And he did say they won't be leaving till morning. And this is the endless night. So, uh, yeah, that's what I meant when we said we have no time limit, technically. I believe you can also participate in the auction like normal. Oh, no, you can't. Uh, dear me, but there's this terrible storm raging this evening. This night seems very unsettled somehow. I didn't realize he had different dialogue for that. I'm a little curious if other people do. Well, I'm gonna break the spot first. No? Okay. Wait, just one moment. Do you think you could just break someone's vases and leave without paying for them? I must chortle at your naivety. <laughs> Those happen to be extremely high-class bone china vases that run a minimum of 10 rupees each. Most assuredly, I shall now accept compensation for them. Let's see now. That comes to a total of 10 rupees. I shall accept your payment. I like how that's all highlighted. I know I've showed this before, but yeah. I like how they try to paint this guy as greedy and whatnot, but... Really, if you go into someone's house and break their races, you should probably pay for them. But I know I've also covered that before, and I probably said the exact same thing, but it's been a while, okay? It's been a while for me. It's probably been a while for you guys as well, unless you're, like, watching all of these in one sitting. If you're watching these as I upload them, then it's probably been a long while. Camo here is still, or Camo, Camo, however you say it, is still here trying to find... Oh, you can't see the full moon. Huh. I mean, it's not full moon. I believe that's a three, uh, like a three-fourths moon. I, I, uh, waning or I don't know. Waning or waxing is depending on whether it's going towards full or going towards new moon. Uh, actually, the pirates might be here. Close all night for pirate party. Oh my god, that's hilarious! I did not know that. Uh, I guess we can also see if Lenzo has anything. Or is it Lo Lorenzo? Lorenzo? Uh, Lorenzo has anything to say? What's going on? My, uh, Link Link's long-lost grandfather. Today marks the long-lost past when I, as a young lad still struggling to reach the pinnacle of photography, received my very first legendary pictograph. A legendary pictograph is an image of a being or essence that has passed beyond the knowledge of this world. They're quite incredible, really. Excuse me? These are images that one come across only in the rarest of circumstances, but as I am the leading photo picto or pictographer in the land, I have managed to gather many of them. And yet, Link, seeing as you how you are one who has dedicated his life to the art of pictography, as I have, I am willing to pass on to you one of these leg treasured pic legendary pictographs. My grandson, take this, and he will give us the... So this is actually, I didn't plan on going into this now, but yeah, and I've been saying but yeah a lot recently. Oh, uh, wait, mm, hurt now, but perhaps that would be hasty. This is after all, after all a very precious thing. I Will you pay? <clears throat> I wonder if you can barter. Pennyless ragamuffin. <laughs> Pennyless ragamuffin. <laughs> oh I've never seen that before. Okay. Uh, go ahead and hand him the pictograph. Uh, but the legendary pictograph. Uh, the legendary pictographs are essentially. Uh, pictographs of characters or whatnot that you wouldn't be able to normally get, say, in a cutscene or a character you just normally wouldn't see in the overworld. Uh, give me a second because I do have some spoiler pictographs, including one of the legendary pictographs. A really popular thing was to send legendary pictographs through Miiverse so you didn't have to pay for them. You could just stumble upon them through Tingle Bottles, which was amazing, and I actually got one of them in this playthrough from the Tingle Bottles before Miiverse shut down. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and check for a second. Alright, so here is the legendary pictograph that was given to us. 
uh, it is of the Great Fairy. You wouldn't be able to get this leg this pictograph otherwise. So, and this is how you get it for the Nintendo Gallery. So this is how you get some of the rarest figurines for the Nintendo Gallery. Uh, with that, if we come to here, let's see how Miss Marie is doing. I like how he said, oh, we should actually hurry because it's for the sake of story, the sake of story progress. Uh, but here we are just talking to everyone. What terrible weather we have today. Little boys shouldn't be out wandering around at this time. My, no. Uh, if you are playing the GameCube version of Wind Waker, and you... I remember telling, uh, I believe a few episodes, I told you to grab a Forest Spirit. Or Forest Bright, or for Firefly, or whatever these things are called. If you're playing the GameCube version, give this to Lorenz. Or Lorenzo, I don't even remember what his name was. Wow. Uh... And if you show it to him, you will get the deluxe pictograph in the GameCube version. In the Wii U version, it doesn't get you anything, but you get some text. Is... is that? What a curious lumin luminescence. Is that truly one of the long-fabled forest fireflies from Forest Haven? My fine assistant, Link. For ages, it is said that... It has been said that the forest fireflies possess a mystical power. In the old days, they were required for making colored pictographs, but no longer. I'd hate to see you leave with nothing after you went to so much trouble to show it to me. I offer you this, the elder lady next door told me it has value of sorts. And you can hear my dogs barking in the background. Maybe. Uh, but we get a joy pendant from Miss Murray. From here onward, you must travel the world, spreading the joy of pictography to all around. And as your heart swells with satisfaction, perhaps I'll have more pictographs to share. Oh ho ho ho! Yeah, some legendary pictographs are of characters we haven't met yet, or scenes from later, and we can't get them yet. They won't give you a spoilery pictograph. So, uh, some just become more available. And it, like I said, if you're playing the GameCube version, that is how you get the deluxe pictograph. So with that, this episode is going to be a bit on the longer side, but let's visit Nico. Who cleans pirate's ears? Uh, no, I don't want to put this in French or Spanish. Uh, or Portuguese. Why is Portuguese not? Why can't I do it in Portuguese? Uh... But I believe it was sw uh, Swabies, not Swaboos. Uh, and I believe that's it. Right, right, you may enter! What's really interesting about this is that there's no one guarding Tetra's room, which means you can raid her bedroom and take everything. Uh, and unfortunately you can't open the drawer, but we said that's all we're gonna do. Let's take a look and see what Tetra has around in a room. You can see she has the mural from the beginning of the game, the story from the beginning of the game. It seems she's quite familiar with the legends. You can even see one of old Hyrule there. Uh, is there a... Wait, what's that? Oh, it looks like a constellation in the night sky. Got a globe. I believe this is Tetra's mother. I'm pretty sure. This is kind of nice. We can just see around the room. Can jump on her bed if you want to. Her bed is huge. Jeez. Or like, at least compared to the characters. Or no, I guess that would be about... That would be a decently sized bed. But that's really all there is to see of Tetra's room. This is pretty much the only time we can ever see inside of it. So cherish it. Relish it. Even take a picture if you want to. Take a selfie in the room. I'm not going to do that because that's creepy. Uh... But let's head downstairs. Oh, Link! My old swabby Link! So you're alive! All the other pirates said you got done in by that burn monster in the Forsaken Fortress. So I thought. Never mind what I thought. You're alive. Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. 
I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom of the rung on the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But, I guess, being so worshipped by my swabby opt to cheer me up. Whatever helps you sleep at night, man. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Alright, alright. Why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one's harder than the last. You Good luck. You'll need it, swabby. You can see that there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time you pressed the switch and the, plat and the platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time there aren't any. Which means you'll have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. Dang, you do that really fast. And not that's not all. This time I put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close before you don't get here in time. It'll close if you don't get here in time, so yeah. Essentially, it's a different way of timing, so... Since the timer last time was based on the platforms rather than the, the, than the door opening or closing. Uh, and he says, yes, he'll give us bombs. Yes, go sell... Go bet your treasure on a minigame. I'm sure Tetra would be perfectly fine with that. This version is a bit harder, and I honestly have a little trouble with this. I also haven't done it in quite a long time. But what I recommend doing is when you grab onto a rope, hold ZR to stop. And just start swinging. And you'll also notice that these ropes, particularly, will move. Uh, you can also... You'll probably end up a little higher, and the ropes don't move while you're on them, so... Uh, for this part, I definitely recommend getting lower, so you can get more of, out of your swing, so you'll go further. Like so, if we were higher up, we wouldn't be able to jump as far. And if they're sort of in a line, you could sort of just keep jumping. Other than that, you just want to stop, re-angle, and start swinging. And if so long as you don't like wait forever on the rope, you'll have plenty of time. In fact, this is the first time I have ever done this. I got on my first try and wow, that was close. It would have made for a funny clip, but I'm glad that didn't happen. What? You got me. You did it already? You, you're incredible. I've been through like lava infested caverns and killed plants with water. Come at me. This isn't good. I've never passed this test. Wait, then how did you get over here? Okay, how could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? I mean, I literally just spent the last few minutes explaining that. If I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious, okay? Okay? And with that, we get bombs. We can carry up the 30. We can throw. We can take one and throw it out. We can throw it or set in the feet. The moment we take it out, it, the fuse will go, just like the bomb flowers we've used before. But this time, we can just use them wherever. We can also use them on our boat with a cannon, which I will show off next episode. That's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked. But I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have a guess you haven't saved your. I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You you don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking about how badly things could go for you. Just like now, the only reason you got what you did is because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure, too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. Yes, just tell us where Jaboon is, the, because we're totally not going to swipe that treasure from you or anything. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking the door down. I'm really bad about reading stuff in order. We're going to relax in town and you are full of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, 
then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Called you a simple mind. She called you a simple minded rat. And. Oh, how awesome. You have a stone just like that one Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. Wow, he, she just insulted you straight to your face, and all you could think of is how cool the stone is. Which, granted, yeah. I, I mean, even in, the, even in this world, having a random stone that you can communicate through through magic is pretty neat. But still. Well, with that, next time on Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. We'll be heading back out to Outset to claim our treasure. And we'll need to be quick. Why? Well, not because of the pirates, no, it's the Endless Night. But like Tetra mentioned before, we don't want anything to happen to Outset. And before we end the episode, we'll check what you have to say. Good evening! Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here's your letter. Notice when Beetle shop ship. And yes, now Beetle sells bombs only once you get, well, bombs. And he gives you the Beetle's chart. Yes, this lets you actually find the location of all Beetle's uh, ships. Uh, if I can pull that, not that. Uh, where is it? So yes, you can see all the squares where Beetle ships are located, including one that looks very interesting. We'll have to check that out at some point. With that, next time on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, we're heading back to Outset in order to claim the, tr the final pearl and see what we can do to stop Ganondorf's operations. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.